Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Fear the Awakening. Last time we were here, um, we pretty much made a deal with a demoness, well, I say a water demon, I don't quite know what she was, in exchange for um, basically handing over a bunch of children to her so that she could have, like, companion, like, keep them young and pretty forever kind of thing and have them as sort of, like, her children forever. We managed to get a date with a dwarf. Well, make her date the dwarf, which is what we were trying to aiming for in the first place. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. To be honest. But there's nothing we can do right now. Press on, press on. There's nothing we can do in productions, crafting. I wanna make get some more gathering tools, really. Um all the supplies of stuff is running low. It's not even really worth the material it's made from. Um Good. You see the skies darken and the air getting heavy. Uh, again. The wind picks up and thunder strikes. Strangely, this seems to happen only around you, as you see clear skies up ahead. Run away. Trying um trying around the storm, run away. Right. Send the guys here. We can drop off the quartz. Uh, drop off that. Drop off the stone. Drop that off. Drop off the magical bones. Drop off the monster bone. Ooh, living sword. Short sword. That is nice. Own spike armor. Hmm, interesting. There's some stuff I want to actually go for here, actually. Equipment. Yeah, expedition. Right. I think it may be time to consider Yeah, I think it's time that we consider upgrading some people's gear. Yep, there we go. So you can't be given anything. Oh, it can't be given anything. 24, so actually they can get relatively good. He's still... Actually, for her, can she actually wear armor now? That would be really good.
like so overcome, but that's not good. I mean, I could give her the shirt, then give her. Oh, really? Is there nothing lighter than that? That gives her a bit more armor. It leaves her without a weapon. start switching them out to two-handed. It drops her armor down, which is not fantastic, but... does more damage. I just had to see how that turns out. The spear is useful. Hmm... Some quartz. Right, there's quite a lot of quartz in the village, so I hadn't realised that. Right, I need to gather some more resources. I need crafting stuff, really. Gathering stuff, it's down there. Or over there. Oh, didn't you see. see fresh boar tracks. It looks like a large pack. Is it demonic chickens or something? Or oh, monstrous spiders. Spiders amongst the chickens. That's not terrifying in the slightest. Alright, let's do the quest. Away in a quiet alcove, you discover a single house amongst ruins of some old town. There is smoke coming from the chimney, and the sound of hammering inside. This is clearly a smithy. You notice an unusually large pile of rocks sitting by the house. Okay, the... the... the Rusal... Laka... thanks... Okay, Verusa again. Thanks for telling me who she is, by the, by the way, has agreed to the date. If you burn this red ribbon in her furnace... The dwarf walks out to greet you again. Mm. How do I know you're not lying to me? Red string in the furnace, you say? And you got the lock of her hair? Well, I'll be damned, you did it, lassie. I am impressed. Rusalka's hair is sacred, magic, some say. She would not give it to anyone, and if she was dead, her hair would be water. Thank you. I hope you know that she steals children. Ah, who cares? Did you see her? And those children? Well, if they become like her, then good for them. Black sword. Ooh, full plate armor. Uh, whatever. Thank you for the reward and good luck to you. The dwarf disappears into a sack with a ribbon and soon you see smoke coming from the chimney. So let's check out this armor, shall we? So probably drop this stuff off as well. My, that is good equipment. Who's our best... Twenty eight damage, twenty seven damage, twenty one damage, twenty four damage. Am I looking at this all wrong? Oh well he's got it in that group, I'd have to take it back. Hmm. Interesting. 
they've gathered the resources there. Yeah, the spiders. We shall begin combat. Reshuffle. Yeah, that will do. Right, we shall go... Vaclav. And then we shall go... Yomila, and then we shall confuse him. And get close. Let's do this. And we wipe them out rather quickly. Get some food, a bit of string, nothing particularly fantastic. Bed down. Right, let's gather this stuff. Ooh, there is cherries here, which is nice. Go and get us some wood. Because we are going to be here for a time. Now, when it comes to that equipment, who's the best person to have it, really? To be honest, she can take quite a lot of weight. There we go. Which leaves a relatively nice piece of armour open for someone else. I can take that back because none of these guys are going to be able to carry it. Right, we've got to drop off that. Give them all stuff they can use for crafting purposes. Along with the coal. That is a nice sword, actually. Maybe I should hang on to that for now. Drop off one of those. Nothing else, they can break stuff down. We can get some of the equipment back. Hmm, might keep a hand on the crossbows. Close. Right, equipment. Taxed up to the gills. He might be able to use it. That person can't use anything. That person's taxed up to the gills. Well, that's... That does slightly more damage, though it is poison damage, and, and I can then give her... Her damage goes down slightly, but we get a lot more armor, which is what's important, I find. Right here. Let's send them to the cosmic tree and see what's going on there. You arrive at a tall stone built tower. An arched doorway stands ajar. You walk into the lower floors of the tower. The room is dark and dingy. The walls are filled with bookshelves, barely holding under the weight of the thousands of works that you think must be housed here. There is a desk and some chairs, and the old man sits behind it. Come in, come in. Sit and let us talk. I am Professor Anthony Hufka, formerly of the Grand University, 
These days, well, on research leave, I suppose. Hello, we found this old scroll by a body. It talked about curing the darkness, and it had your tower marked on the map. Ah, the Elven Scroll. Have you found the Guardian yet? He went to that grove place, but I've never been able to find out what happened to him. His pesky student ran off with the scroll before I could write down the directions. And I don't like leaving this tower anyway. You have not spoken with the elf yet. Mm, right. Well, he is a wise one. I will grant him that. But his version of history is... Hmm, history is written by the victors, yes? The elves have been the victors for many thousands of years, and thus they do write our history. I, however, believe it is time we wrote our own. What do you mean you're making no sense? Well, the elves will tell you that the cosmic tree is one of the pillars of the world. I won't go into it. They know it better. They are correct on that, but sometimes pillars must fall in order to build a new house, you know. Right, right. I am an old man, too old for human existence. I forget myself. So it was us, humans, that burned that damned tree. Yes, we at the Grand University. We had a multinational conference and we came to a conclusion. Magic is stifling humanity. Listen to me. Magic and its prime stewards, the elves, they are keeping us from truly evolving, from reaching our own potential. We can finally be free from superstition, from dark magic, from monsters. We will build a civilization based on reason and knowledge. And yes, this will be costly. Magic will take with it many creatures, not all bad. But humanity will finally be free. How you sound mad. How's darkness good for us? We almost died out. Doesn't make much sense. But what do you suggest? How's darkness good for us? Yes, we did. That is because something went wrong, you see. The tree lingers on. Magic is growing again. The elves are cursed but still alive. The plan did not work. So you must do whatever that elf tells you, but then find a way to finish the job. Do whatever you must to kill magic and destroy the tree for good. You will do what you will do, but I trust your brains will win over superstition. And I told you, I don't leave this tower. If I do, I am dead, and I rather like living. Bah! Details. Whatever you do will not happen overnight, you know. It may take generations to fully take its course. I will live until that time and gather knowledge. Now go. No time to waste on an old man. You find yourself standing... Yeah, I ain't helping him. So where's, where's this place we're supposed to go? The Cosmic Tree. Yeah, I'm not helping him. I mean, like, they say the history is written by the victors, and it's like, oh, the elves are, like, making us... writing the history, and they are the victors, but it's like, yeah, but you're pretty much annihilating the world for your own... petty reasons. I mean, it's it's literally like saying, well, we've got to wipe out two-thirds of humanity, because it will give the rest a chance to sort of... Pro it, it's just madness. Total madness. Yes, that should work. Get her to do it. Items. How is people being equipped here like? Uh, you could do with better armor, really. I've got so much gear lying around. I need to break it. Pretty much all of it, really. Because I could get materials back from it.
Is there anyone not wearing armor? She can't wear armor at all. Right. Inventory. Equipment. Let's start breaking some of this stuff down. At least it will give us some crafting materials back, which is nice. Because to be honest, I don't really need all this stuff. I made most of it because I needed research points. should do it. Manage supplies. Okay, yep, yep. I mean, we've got enough meat now, we could probably pop that open. Again. Just for the record, I'm not doing what the male mage said, because he's pretty much said that they, they doom the large percentage of the world for really petty reasons. Right, undead are approaching the settlement. Okay, there's those look like nasty spiders, I better actually go and deal with them. Let's fight them. Spider Queen and six spiders. Resuffle the deck. That's a better. Yeah, much better. Let's go. Right. We'll get Irena up first. And then we got two cards to play, so we could put Jane. And then we could put down Nadija. Nadija. We could put our healer down, and then we can go first action and get him to the front of the row. Their Spider Queen still hasn't gone yet. Get rid of one of theirs. Uh, opponent's turn, where's she gonna turn up? Right. Going to sh shield her and confuse the Spider Queen. Hopefully this will work, because that's got a lot of health. Whoa, that was quick. Nice great sword. Keep harvesting that straw. Got some fish from the well. I'm gonna send my party now over in the direction of that because there was a place of interest. And I think I now have the ability to, to take it on. Herbalist hut. They're gathering stuff. Yep, yep, yep. An old dwarf passes by your village, stopping only for a drink and a chat if you're willing. Saw her drink with him. You share a drink and some stories. As thanks, the dwarf tells you of an old mine he knows. He marks the location on your map. Great. He marks a route through a gold mine. Good, worth checking out. Ooh, a gold mine. Oh, there's all this stuff down here that I need to check out as well. Right, we've got a research point. Now this, what's it? That's granite. I mean, do I want to get clay? Or do I want to start making better weapons and equipment? Or do I want to... Uh, that's the thing, isn't it? This is cycle.
yeah, I'm gonna have to build this. I need totem place with increasing magical skills. Yeah, the next one is gonna have to be putting it into getting two handed weapons. I've been holding off for now, but I really now need to start producing structures. Right. Production. Construction. I need to build a meeting hall. I don't know what that is, the question. Quartz. I've got enough quartz for it. Hmm. If they want f raw food, don't have bone. Hmm. Meat, perhaps. What does it do if I put something different? Yeah, that's really going to affect the quality of it and how much research points I get. But it's a lot of dryad wood. Speaks bonus, attracts some people intelligence. Let's go with that, confirm. And at the same time we're doing that, we also get a smithy thrown down. Oh, I'm just outside of what we need for that. Well, I can use bone. Secondary materials. What we could do is do that. doesn't really affect anything. How's it gathering? Looking for food. Not great, but we should still be able to do it. Right, that's been produced. That's going okay. There's supposed to be a gold mine down there. Point of interest up here. Unliving nest. Undead ruins. Place of interest. Hmm. 
Well, we're out of time for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and the links provided below. And as always, leave a comment in the comment section if you have a point of interest or just a suggestion. I'm Cornish Knight, and I wish you all a very happy day. Goodbye.